Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, we're going to make this really, really quick. We've been telling you all that House Joint Resolution was never the law. House Joint Resolution was never the law. The law was always called Joint Resolution or the Gold Arbogation Act or the Gold Clause Act. Provision A says, no provision contained in any contract, let's just skip all that other wording, that gives the creditor the right to require payment from a debtor in a particular kind of coin or currency or any amount of money of the United States measured thereby can never happen again. Why? Because it's against public policy. Erie versus Tompkins, the Supreme Court said that we were now under public policy. That's the law now. Hold on now. No such provision shall be contained in any contract ever again hereafter. This can't be repealed. Why can't it? Follow this. Every obligation heretofore or hereafter, whether or not the provision is contained in or made with respects thereto, shall be discharged upon payment dollar for dollar. Well, their dollars are paper. Your dollars are paper. There is no longer a gold standard, ladies and gentlemen. It is straight credit. That's why if you look at the Gold Arbogation Act, hold on now. If you look at this right here, the so-called Trading with the Enemy Act Amendment of 1933, under the new law, the money is issued to the banks in return for your draft notes, bills of exchange, and bankers' acceptances. It is at par with each other, dollar for dollar, because they're worth 100 cents on a dollar. Why? Because they're backed by your credit. You received credit when you gave your parents, grandparents, your grandpappies, even yourselves, gave up your gold in 1933 and beyond to the United States. They gave you credit in return. Don't take my word for it. Go back and read the Gold Obligation Act or the Gold Standard Act. Pay attention. They did not repeal that section. They only repealed the section about gold not being included in a contract, a gold clause. But they did not repeal any obligation hereafter and heretofore incurred. Now, they did repeal HJR 192. Let them repeal HJR 192. It's not a law. But House, excuse me, Joint Resolution, June 5th, 1933, that has never been repealed, people. Y'all need to be paying attention because they're getting y'all taking you off for everything you got. Don't let them get your money. God, y'all need to...